Travis, I know it's uh, less than 48 hours after the last game, but uh, your thoughts on your season and, and how it progressed uh, after the injury? Oh, yeah, I mean, coming back from the injury, I think it took uh, me a little longer getting back to where I was before uh, than I would have liked. But, um, I mean, I feel like I had a pretty, pretty positive season just uh, personally. Um, I mean, learned a lot, had some great coaches, great teammates, and uh, a couple great partners to play with and learn from. And um, I think I can take this season moving forward and learn a lot from it. How valuable is a player development component of uh, what the Leafs offer? Oh, amazing. I mean, every everything you get asked for here is uh, is supplied. So any anything I need uh, going forward, I mean, this season and then in the off, in the off season coming up, uh, anything I need, I know that they're uh, they're right there for me. Where does the most surprising growth for you come from this season? I, I honestly think just getting comfortable with uh, with this with everything like with uh, with the type of hockey that I'm playing now, the pro level, and uh, just everything like that. I think, I think just getting used to the games bigger than bigger than learning anything. I think just getting comfortable and getting that confidence under your belt is probably bigger. So. Anything really surprised you about your first season here? Not really. I mean, uh, I had some goals coming in, and uh, I, I think I, I think I attained them somewhat well. So, I mean, I just kind of try to take in as much as I can, and the, the season was good for me, I think. Can you share what those goals were that you feel like you reached? Yeah, I think, like I said, just kind of getting confident in the pro level and just kind of getting my first season under my belt and getting getting comfortable. <laughs> yeah, like, oh, I'm saying comfortable a lot. But um, I, I think it's huge for me just, just getting my confidence. I think confidence is a big part of my game, and getting comfortable is the number one attribute to that. The goal is to make the NHL, I'm sure. Do you think you've given yourself a better chance going into this training camp than you had going into last training camp? Uh, yeah, I mean, I hope, hopefully, I and mean, that's the goal, right? I think everyone has that goal. To, uh, every year you progress and give yourself a better chance and better chance until hopefully you can make it one year. So I think I'm going to work hard in the off season this year, and uh, I think got a pretty successful year here with this great group of guys. So hopefully the summer's big for me, and we'll see where it takes me. How close do you think you are? I think this summer will show. What's your uh, goal for the offseason? Everyone always talks about kind of putting on weight in the summer to kind of build that hockey strength for the following season. What do you think will be the biggest challenge for you this summer? I honestly, I'm happy with the way I'm at now uh, in terms of that. So I think kind of staying around where I am now, trying to keep my conditioning up. I mean, it's it's hard staying con in condition for hockey when you're not playing full-time hockey. So um, just working hard in the gym and then getting on the ice with the skills guys and making sure I'm up to par and put myself in the best position possible going into the camp. Would you see that this summer with all of, like, there's a lot of different like off-season camps with a lot of players in the city. That's part of your plan, I imagine, just staying around here? Yeah, yeah, I'll be around and I'll be at MasterCard with, uh, with the Leafs all summer, so cool. looking forward to it.